Welcome to State College, Pennsylvania. On this episode of In the Field, we're gonna check in on the new 100,000 square foot innovative hospital for Penn Highlands Healthcare. Let's come take a look. So we're here in the central utility plant. We have three 3,000 MBH boilers, one 1,000 MBH summer trim boiler, provides heating for the facility. Much of the piping and assembly components were done off-site, prefabricated by the contractor, brought to the job site. So here we're looking at three 750 MBH domestic water heaters. They'll provide 360 gallons of stored hot water for domestic water use. So we're here in the emergency department. Uh, features, of course, many exam rooms. They do have trauma and triage rooms that'll be ready to serve the public. We see here our med gas head wall in our uh, triage area. So we have 18 patient bedrooms in this facility, three of which will be dedicated to airborne infection isolation control. The patient rooms will also feature circadian rhythm lighting. Circadian rhythm lighting recreates the natural sunrise to sunset lighting cycle, which helps promote wellness to the patients. See here, we've got our hot water supply return for heating system and also a domestic water distribution system from the facility. So the majority of the building's HVAC units are located here on the roof. We have eight DX cooled air handling units ranging from 32 to 95 tons. Some have hot water heat, some have gas heat, just depending on the application. So we talked about the isolation rooms downstairs in the exam rooms. This is one of our exhaust fans that pulls 100% exhaust out of those isolation rooms. No recirculation, of course, back into the building with the high plumed exhaust. So of course, every hospital has a dietary component. We have two grease exhaust systems for both of the kitchen cafe areas in the building. So we're here in operating room number one. There are three operating rooms in this building and a procedure room. We're checking out the superstructure that'll mount the surgical booms. We also have the bed gas that's piped in and capped uh, ready for the installation of the booms. The operating rooms will feature an integrated ceiling design which incorporates both the laminar flow diffusers and the lighting all integrated in one modular ceiling system. Car rise to the job site, lifts into place, saves time and money. So we're inside the vault for the linear accelerator, which is on the southern end of the medical office building. Uh, this suite will have a dedicated air handling unit, a dedicated chiller to help cool a linear accelerator. We also provide a domestic water backup in the event the chiller fails, keep the magnet cool. Thanks for joining us on this episode of In the Field with McKim and Creed. Please watch for future episodes.